Okay. Wait a minute. He killed, <laughs> then <laughs> almost Why did you got killed this story today? for Why? you. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. well, actually, it's kind of a serious story. Seattle-based comedian was beaten with a baseball bat while hosting <laughs> an open mic. It's not, it's not funny. Look at the poor guy. Dylan Avila was on stage at the local 907 club when a man rushed the stage and bludgeoned him twice. A witness described the attacker. He was swinging again. I mean, he had every intention of trying to kill him. He wasn't going to stop. Oh, a very artistic interview. <laughs> I want you up there on the stairs in shadow. <laughs> Amazing local news. This guy's an auteur. <laughs> Avila, uh, who knew, uh, who knew, uh, who suffered a fractured skull and a double concussion, actually knew his assailant. Steve Baldwin, a Baldwin oh, brother, yeah. had uh, been banned from the club because the owners thought his act was obscene and it involved sex toys. Villa actually thought the act was hilarious. It was offensive on every level. There was no joke told. There was nothing humorous about it. I like it when people say offensive on every level. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that means. All right, uh, Paul. Uh, yeah. I, I know the reason why I find this interesting is comedians are an unusual breed in that they're, they take it so they take this stuff so seriously. Have you ever been in a fight with another comedian? In a fist fight? No, any fight. In an argument? Yeah, yeah, I got in an argument with somebody. But in this case, it, there's a lot of things wrong. Well, first of all, I understand why the guy couldn't get stage time because he's got a bat. Nobody likes a prop act. Right? <laughs> oh, really? And secondly, Tell that to Carrot Top. And, hey, so, but, and, he, and the other thing is, it was like a Tuesday night and he couldn't get stage time at an open mic night at a union hall. You know how bad you have to be not to be able to get... He's after got the you, open mics huh? covered. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I will hit you with that jib if you laugh. I swear to God, I will turn that jib on you. Jack, can you come to my defense and stop looking at the phone, Stop please? saying the names the of the people on the show. I don't know who these people are. should know who these people God. are. They've worked on the show for years. and They, they don't like you, Paul. It yeah. doesn't matter. Stop it. <laughs> They're never going to like you. See, I knew you. This He's trying to get somebody. You only assigned this so that you could pick on me. I knew. No, it's yeah. like when you pretend like you're a regular, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah Matt over there. This guy knows what I'm talking about. This guy knows. Roger Ailes and I had yeah, it'd be, oh, it'd be great. Like you know, like you, fat, you just flash another scene where Paul's walking off at night and he sees sees Jack and Matt walking. He goes, "Hey guys!" and they just beat the crap out of him. <laughs> hey. Jack and Matt, you're not supposed to be laughing at that. Uh, you uh, ain't holes. Uh, All right. Uh, <coughs> Catherine, <laughs> thoughts on this or any story? I, <laughs> I love the interview because this guy, he said he tried to murder him and he's like, by the way, his act it's not funny at all. <laughs> yeah, no. He tried to kill me and he's also, he's not, not funny. funny. <laughs> he that tried to kill me and he's not even funny. Yeah. If he was funny, he was if he'd been hit by, say, Stephen Wright, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been different. Um, have I gone to you, young lady? No. All right. I was no, it's moments like these where <coughs> it's a shame that comedians don't have health insurance usually. That's uh, true. He's probably wishing he had a catastrophic plan. Right. You don't see something like this coming. Maybe the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I don't like to interrupt you, but we actually story. tried to do that. They actually tried to organize and have a union where we'd have health insurance, and it failed because comedians couldn't come together on anything. See, well, there, there you go. go. But yeah. all of his friends are apparently trying to raise, raise money. money for his feet. That's awful mm. yeah. that he has to then pay this. He has a hell of a stitch on his head. Yeah. Yeah. That picture, you know, but this is a this is the worst kind of heckling, Andy. It really is. It really great. is. I mean, yeah. words are one thing, but they why really violence? It's no, not I cool. know. Look, I, cool. when I first saw this story Here about this comes. comedian, where it happened, I had I, I probably the same reaction as most of America. <laughs> yeah. Please let it be Paul McCurry. <laughs> right, and then I clicked here. on the link, and it You're was just the it's chair. just disappointing. No, this is an awful story. I don't even. You know, All right, can I have my twenty bucks for predicting this? Yes. Yes. There you go. this today. I'm joking, Paul. Most of America doesn't know who you are. Wait, Jack, do not laugh. <laughs> All right, Jackson. we got to take a break. I'm kind of glad I picked that story. Anyway, I hope he gets well. Uh, that, that is good that he's alive. All right, we're going to talk about stressful jobs. I have one. Not cool. Order it. Amazon.com. Autograph copy. Gutfelt.com. Back in a moment. But first, here's what's coming up tomorrow on The Independence.